evening and welcome to another episode of Visionaries Lounge. Thank you so much for tuning in wherever you're joining us from this evening. You know, if you look around you, you're bound to get an idea of how to make money, but also more importantly, achieve true success. That is exactly what our guest this evening did. Melissa Ndinyembe was a cleaner for a company that cleaned crime scenes. She saw a gap in the market and started her own business, Nyembe Waste Management. She joins us this evening to tell us more on her story. Do you like Melissa? Tell me a bit more about your family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Can I leave the brother say four, leave the sister, leave the sister say three. Mm. Um, and as the firstborn, I'm sure there was a big uh, responsibility that you carried. Yes, as a firstborn, maybe it's the reason why I feel like I've moved back to my grand's place because I feel like I have to pay attention. I was feeling neglected and then I went back to my grand's place. I was at least the last one. So I was like, high school entrepreneurship. from from far this thing. Uno Yes. 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 And then Nasa Berkele Company of Holo just before we love Nasa Wai. Yes. Mm. So, Kiki, Kareksa Mazimba, and then Hegeza my son at nine, Kaba pregnant. Mm. And then from there, then I knew for it, that's it. So I, but Kaka Stata Honamo for it. Kaizu Hegeza Mo, Sons of the Light to Gatlam, said it. Waba Nalom Sani first ponyak. Mawabu and a school and a foot with the child. In an 18 years, it is starting from Tana Mokal. The reason why I bounce back from the early age with the Nengan is because I was a little bit of a friend. What kind of a friend is this? I was a little bit of a friend. I was a little bit of a friend. I was a little bit of a friend. Yeah, but liquidated. And then the same guys for the company clean my crime scene. Mm. And then Bang Biza was a clean and my crime scene. Yes, I wonder if they don't want to do anything because they're saying Lini and they're thinking, Ngamane Nyege, Mina, then Guti, Nyenzi Tie, or Guti Nklin, Mina, Ngamane Nyege. What was it inside you that said, I must just work, even if it's something like this? In the big one, I gave Mogutsi Gafana, no man, a sala, Ningan and Pan and Little Wood. Or when you foot a kaya, foot Pandan Basakaya, Basasabai. Mm. So I had And then you were not just working, but you started to see good ah, eh, according to short dialogue company lay maybe manga zenzela mina business yam closer that gap. Talk to me about how that idea to start in Yembe waste management came about. Okay. Uh, a company in the best to clean up my crime scene, so when a medical waste is in two line. So, we're going to go to the phone in my company, it's good based on the collector waste. Then, we normally my company allow onions. Mm. So, but we're difficult to call to see sell any waste in the buzz, but we never have seen. So, uh, by him saying, and then I'm correct. So, I'm saying, yeah, tala la po, which one which is a good cap, lana, good, good industry. Then, I found this and which is. Lama, 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 medical waste, and our transport agents are nursing your color in the Marco Colsech, missing your color in the waste. Now, for Nella, a Dr. Josh Mukari, a spelling. Now, but tell a witching for who collect medical waste there, funny witching in the then bank tell a witchy amass for the office, a department of health. Then bank the years number eight at the department of health. Now, for now, Balo Bank tell a witchy there's a guide, young Fan and Kulman, I a gay co. Then I went back to, to Google. Then I Google medical waste. Then I told this guy, or director of the Department of Health, or draft the policies. But I said, okay, I'm going to 
epiki septori ngahamba mm. ngabona lo, lo director angimazi nokumazi bokumlungu ngalinda lapha majela umanager wamle la bank sebenza khona hambi ngathi asihambe ukuphelezele ngoba wazi nje ukuthi lo muntu ohlangana nayo ubani ngathi asihambe ukuphelezele sobona labantu sobona lo muntu othi ufuna ukungqitha epikisi ukuthi bengayazi ukuthi epikisi yini kuya kwi pub yeah. ipub restaurant yeah okay nengifika lapha lo baba wathi ke mwathi eh today i just want to be a very good public servant mm. and so can use that information and then you going to use that information mm. i want to open an incinerator mm. to 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 burn the waste what you want you will need about 25 million rent oh, to wow. do that so i don't think you have that kind of money yeah. yes i don't have what you want okay so where you can start you can be a transporter you can transport waste then i'm saying a humble footing a humble you apply la mm. february 2012 i apply the permit my tola in august 2012. yes permit when did you start to work immediately after my permit mm. september from february actually i was phoning the people and then in tola ama my contacts so that i can get into companies then september mm. then i was permitting a hamba ngayo ukhuluma no baba ka maponya 911 then ngaba permit i'm saying what will then that's where they gave me an opportunity to start how do you make the vision come to pass with no money okay this is what i have done uh after i'm saying to lele my permit i'm going to be ngakhuluma no baba ngakhuluma no maponya 911 and then base bang nikez contract Bank phone ela basi bangi kizema contract kwenye hambi ni yepulukwani ni kizu and I think ni nespread and then ngase puti mtu wale eni yaga afob so bangi kizema branch I ten from a free state na kona na se kizu eight ngase ni tili la ngozanjan so uma 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 mega zwa wang phone ela wati uhambi lo wai sila spread so ukulume na kisha ni phone ela bangi kizema transport but they can help me ngama ngama marketing materials yes, yes then when you deliver that first major contract when i delivered i had to wait they didn't make payment same time I had to wait for 30 days. Mm. So ngase ngibuyela futhi ka sida e bread and then base bang bang jela ukuthi ngena ile competition ya SAP Kickstart. So that's where everything happened. Mm. SAP Kickstart bang thatha banyisa ku ku training equips. It was the first time in Gelo University. Bonga babuza nje bathi bengithule ukuba ngidlula bonke. The reason why bengithulile bengakaze ngena university so ukuqala nje ngibone lecture nje nephambi kwami iti ya mfundisa and then um and then from there sap kick start yang nza lo ngi mbona mfundisa yes it stories are same kaza because mbona i perseverance mbona i tenacity i dedication yako i want to know where it took you next and you don't have to find out after this stay with us Welcome back and thank you so much for joining us. I'm in conversation with a mover and shaker, a woman with a never say die attitude who will not take no for an answer. Millicent Nyembe is the founder of Nyembe Waste Management Company. Millicent, let's talk now about how your business had just started. You just got that SAP award. You went to Gibbs to study. You did your first contract. So now things are looking up. How did the business start to grow? Uh, the business started to grow among more, more more clients in and then I sing in Genela in Tola more clients and then in Kala Wu Tola mentor yeah. that was mentoring me and I told her from SAP Foot Nike. So since Bang Nagela, the mentor plus Isida, Bang Nagel, the business coaching, Nabo, then the business, yeah, yeah, pick up. Mm. And the only difficult part in a business, yeah, we, we don't know more about cleaning crime scenes and no no, no, no medical waste mm. so i felt very very bad one day in yenza e expo a e, e, expo a e, e, a trade in the industry they called me for that for expo day and amanda mamia mauma babona my 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 things in this bagel up need display in 
when they see ama 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 boxes a waste ama shops ama pharmaceutical waste ama ama containers akhona they only see danger Yes. But, 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 danger, but, danger. yes. <laughs> because but, I thought hmm, but, I don't want to be that late. But the bad part is there's no zagala every yeah. day in our household. Maskurum Kuniso, every day, umundus mama, utola e sakeliake every month. Yes. So that is exactly medical waste. So still I'm a crime scene, I'm a ambulances, so I took up terminator. And the other thing is Uma Uma Umuntu Umuntu Kaya. Let's make sure Umuntu Kaya. Yeah. There's this the first thing that we do to Namantum Yam. So So we sitting there tomorrow we to pet a flu. He flu lay from because our mas don't to blow it. So my bacteria lawa aya develop denses at wala ye ma clinic. But to also have a young black woman in this field, I'm sure that I'm be shocked. That's why even that gentleman was busy with me. Why waste management of all the things? Why was always a catering or something? I don't know. So it's it's very very um, interesting to find a young black woman in waste management. Are you surrounded by by men, white men? What what is the industry like? Uh, the industry is going around to Abam Shaw Pegakulu and Bobak. Mm. And they are very scary. Maybe one or two guys mm. that I know. But women and that's mm. very, very rare. So what said to you, I must keep going? Because as much as more successful, I was born in the world. I was born in the world. I was born in the world. I didn't think it would be so heavy. I was born in the world at ESCOM. Yeah. Yes, in 2014. Mm. Yes. What so. keeps you going? Uh, my passion and hard work. Mm. And you know, it's not uman karele business ngas tshela ukuthi it's not about making money it was about i i legacy for my kids yeah. so i wanted to show ukuthi no matter what in your life you can still do it no matter what ukuthi enzi mekhaya imala yikho kufanele wenze something ukuthi ubise ukudla ekhaya so i remember when my dad passed away 2013 bengiqala ngale business bokhane bokhane ngicala ukuthola ke ma client fanele services so it was very difficult. So I So I have to work hard. When the Gaguchi Ngabang, Mobang, Bonala, Tina Kulugazi, Abantabamiam, Askaz Gakulu, Mama, Mama, infectious waste, healthcare response, Askaz Gakulu, Noxina Macram Sims, the seven Zita, Satina Macram Sims, and Akurama Matlav, no Mama Mask. Yes. So you go and call the business with me, please. You know, you speak about all these companies, Isaac Caesar, Nabantu, Abaza, Abazo Caesar. But when you start a, a business, yes. you attract the positive. Yes. You also attract the negative. Yes. And sometimes umuntu as a go at millions of seas, only to find which lomuntu from that advantage or lomuntu ofuna ogula ngawe. Yes. Did you ever meet any any people who who did that? Yes, I did, mm. and I'm still meeting some, but uh, because of the legacy that I wanna build, I'm and to be and 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 ba 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 So if if somebody I figure in the last incident that I had, somebody who beg from to touch business young completely, then they wanted to offer me some shares and then born about thirty business me young seven zero born. So they wanted to give me ten million rent. Mm. Then I said yes, in within that years they build up their company for 15 years mm. so they want to buy on my business so actually you build up your company for 15 years you want to give me 10 million so what about me nanga build i am for the next 15 years like you is about worth money so so i said no to that it's because i know which is this business is not for it's not for today i'm building it for one to another for south africa which is wow about seven, that's mm -hmm. yeah. full time or business Normally, Nakena, Lorraine, Hona, 
ama client A tu ama ibevele, bato kutela, any healthcare facilities, and for ama ama transient, ama community A. And now are you finding that there's a bit of a, uh, an understanding as to what waste is or, or do we still need to, to get guidance? For example, there's, there's what, three, four different uh, categories. areas of categories of waste. Just explain that to us, please. Okay. Um, medical waste is classified into four categories. Mm -hmm. There is infectious waste, which is uh, your bandages that you use in the hospital and uh, your gloves. And we have sharp containers, which is your needles, your valves. And we have uh, anatomical waste is is your fitters mm. your stillborns yes your placentas mm. Mm. yes they go into the anatomical waste container mm. and, and then how do you dispose of it okay we, we 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 take it we transport it to a registered treatment facility healthcare facility in 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 Joburg la pass pese ama sub containers la bo bona nje into nje e e e e yelo was in the sharp container apagat. Manali Anything sharp in a parat. Okay. Yeah, boy. As a green expired medication. Yeah. For an amal let's say kidney cramps in Tola Ama drugs or anything to Fagala. Yeah. Lala e anatomical waste. Ama foskin Nadagangal. Lena infectious waste. Yes. La pop gana kona matla vunje ngoba the seven gana pa matla vla wa it. Tizo wa faga langa pagat. As a teen mother who couldn't afford to go to university, who started out work as a cleaner, as a tea lady, to the millicent I see in front of me today, the businesswoman, one company ake ekulayo who is headed for bigger things. Tell me what that journey has taught you. <coughs> the journey in Fundisa Guti, each and every day, you need to know which we are, we are, why we are, and to know who we are. You find a look to send in the Ganzima, and then you find a look to we Fundisa every day. You find a look to Fund every day. So, when the knowledge is power. Mm. <laughs> yes, I remember, I remember the two, two weeks back. Mm. I was on making maps, and then this lady called me being funda na school and it's those ladies beba beba papa ka kuli school in. Then wang phone la uti gimi gimi ni mukbana tivi ni how oboda ngabina. I see him wang boni le, but but my community is very proud of me. Yeah. And your family must be my even family. more proud of you. Yes. Mm. And Vela Mili, they should be proud of you, an ordinary woman who did extraordinary things. More from the life of Millicent in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back. Millicent Nyembe is our guest this evening. She is the founder of uh, Nyembe Waste Management. Millicent, Obizu, and I can just tell you, Obizu, or your yes. hands on co company, how you're also a mother, yes, and so many other things. Yes, how do you find time to relax? What do you do for fun? Uh, what I do for fun is get on my kid in Molong, mm. go to the zoo. I love to go to the zoo, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> you're band. so young, yes. Am I allowed to reveal yes. your age? Or is yes, it, you're 32, yes, you, you're so young, yes, for what you've achieved. Yes. So, Orata Zoo, Orata Rimo, Lelebana. Yeah, Lelebana, mm. and then we go to Kodi Baskupong, mm. and we go out, and I love to travel a lot. Yeah. yeah. How yes. do you balance the, the work life and, and being a mom? Uh, it's, it's quite easy. I think it comes with a woman. You know, it's, it's, it's a natural thing. You just have to take care of your kids and take care of work. So, I just balance the two. Mm. When it's time for work, it's work. When it's time for children, it's children. Mm. So, I make sure is like I shut down the system. Yeah. So when, when, when it's time to work, get some my kids a bit. Mm. Then, if we can look into maybe a crystal ball or something, or we a future how for the next five to ten years, or maybe the fifteen years, like you said earlier, how would you like to see your life then? What would you like to see? Fifteen years from now, kita kwanza kina li kisa maile each and every province kiro jile bana. That that's that's one of the biggest things that I want to do. Kisa kwa manu mulo mungu South Africa. 
ge ba tlhakane ba le ba bedi le ngwana mosweu le ngwana le le ngwana mosotho a a a tsebe gore medical waste ke eng and then that incinerator i think the incinerator e o noe ba tlotlo it is also in the pipeline in a baraki 25 million for yes it's in the pipeline i'm still busy uh, trying to get funding for that mm. so if i can get funding for that it will definitely open doors you're my girl i love you thanks sis listen this in a lona e dima ne i can feel this award it'll be the story yes and yet when we approached you to say we want you to come to visionaries now you said why do these people think i have a story yes. what story are they talking about yes because i didn't understand even if i when i asked the lady that phoned me and then i said what exactly do you want guys just tell me then they said no you have a great story yes it is a testimony mm. yes but uh, i didn't say it as a big story to mm. be honest mm. no so if you would leave as with a message about your life journey what would that message be work hard mm. if you want to achieve anything you need to work hard and to be passionate with what you are doing and love what you do mm. I, I, i'm from i'm from zero but today i don't have 